All right, let's continue our journey on understanding what are these consulting cases. Now we have reached the last part of this section where we will try to understand the end-to-end -end structure of these consulting cases. Today, I'm going to walk you through how exactly a typical consulting case would look like in your interview. At the very same time, I'll start covering in the end how this would transform in your real life as a consultant. This will actually frame a very good amount of picture for you once you step into your role as a consultant. All right, let me start with giving you the quick overview how exactly your interview process would be divided in terms of these case interviews. The very first few minutes would be introduce, introduction of yourself, what exactly you do and everything. But at the same time, after a few housekeeping discussions, there would be a stage which would be set up that, okay, we are going to start the case interview now. And this is how exactly it would go. The very first five minutes would actually be spent talking about the problem statement. Here at this stage, the problem statement would be very, very narrow and you would be given some little amount of perspective about what exactly is the business situation. But you need to ensure that you have understood the problem right. And that is where it is about five minutes and the process goes something like this. The interview will set the stage and will give you the prompt or the problem for this consulting case. Once that is given, you need to ensure that you are taking notes while he was giving it. But once it is done, you are paraphrasing the same problem statement and given back to him. The idea is very simple. This happens in a real life consulting scenario. While you are talking to CEO or big managing director, there's a good chance that he's thinking on multi dimensions. And it is very important for the consultant to gather if they are capturing the right situation at hand and they actually get the problem right. Because CEO and managing directors are actually running their own business. They understand it far better than you or any other consultant in the world. So, just paraphrasing and repeating the problem is very similar to what you would do in your real life as a consultant. And that is why it is very, very important to do it in your consulting case interviews as well. Once that is done, that would be about five minutes where you will stand about taking notes of the problem from the interviews and then paraphrasing it and giving it back. And you need to make sure that you ask this question in the end. Have I covered everything in this? Did I miss something that will actually help you to further verify that there is no major detail which you have missed while taking this problem statement. Because in, in few cases, you will experience that the problem statement is actually very big and it is impractical to take notes of every single detail. And that is why it is a good chance for you to test if you have taken everything right or not. Once that is done, the next three minutes is the perfect time for you to gather information from the interviewer. That is the part which I will cover in detail where I'll discuss my Hercules framework on what makes the right set of clarifying questions. But the idea of this section is very simple. The interviewer has given you a prompt, just the basic need or the basic idea of what the company is, what the business situation, what the problem at hand is. But before you start working on it, there could be some pressing question which might change or recourse your entire journey towards simulating the case. And these are the clarifying questions. So once you are done paraphrasing, you will spend about three minutes in asking clarifying questions. What these clarifying questions are for now, all you need to understand that these are few pressing questions which need to be answered at the very same time just to ensure that there is nothing stopping you from actually starting to structure and simulate your problem statement. And this is what I'll say I'll cover in detail the end to end part in my entire course, where I'll tell you what makes the right clarifying question and what are few cheat clarifying questions. So if you have a business problem, you understood everything, but you don't seem like you have any clarifying question and you might leave a bad impression on the interviewer that you're not smart enough to even comprehend that much and come up with a clarifying question. I have a particular cheat code and I've almost used it like almost, almost in every single interviews. And I'll teach you that in my Hercules framework of clarifying questions. Now, 
once that part is done you have spent about 8 minutes into the case the next 35 minutes are the biggest and the most important one where you would start with structuring the problem communicating the structure to your interviewer and then based on if the case is interviewee led or candidate led it would be decided on simulate how exactly you would simulate the consulting case now i'll give you a quick snapshot of what interviewee versus interviewer led uh, framework of these consulting cases works the idea is very simple in interviewee or candidate led you are the one who are driving the entire case you would come up with the structure you would follow the structure ask for data and you would do it this is a better replica of what you would experience in your real life as a consultant imagine you are in a board room you are talking to the ceo he has given you some snapshot about what exactly is the situation at hand you have asked a clarifying question you have said okay i have everything to start penning down how we can particularly approach solving this problem you go back discuss with the team come up with a particular structure or a tree diagram which i'll again cover once we discuss in detail the part of consulting cases you come up with a structure on how exactly you would go about evaluating and solving this consulting case and then you are the one on the driving seat who drives this thing and are from end to end from data collection to analytical to recommendation but few companies such as mckinsey follow our interviewer led the idea is different in this case they want you to have different perspective but with a certain pace because they have a smaller duration they want interviewers to actually lead the conversation and because they already have a set of answers to each of the question it is better for them to actually evaluate different candidates on the same scale if different candidates are thrown a similar question how they responded what were the ideas they came up with did they did the calculation right and that is why few companies in consulting hire individuals based on case studies which are designed in a interviewer led format i hope you have understood this if not need not to worry if you have taken my course you are part of the dedicated consulting community just ping me i would be more than happy to answer any question you have and would be more than happy to help you throughout this journey on any particular topic if you are reading this even at 12 am just ping me would be more than happy to answer you finally the last part of this is about summarizing till now you have spent about 40 minutes with your interviewer solving the case you have done some calculations you have used your creative brains now it is the peak time where you need to show your communication skills of comprehending everything what you have discussed in last 40 45 minutes into a 2 minute summary the prompt could be very similar okay the interviewer might say something like this okay so we have solved the case now you are in a room with the ceo you have 2 minutes to summarize what's happening with the case and that is where it becomes very very important to nail it if you have spent a good amount of effort in your first half why i'm saying is first half because these last 2 minutes are as important as these 40 minutes and that is why i'm saying the final recommendation or the summary part of the consulting cases are most most important because these are the ones which leave the last impression on your interviewer and they will have a certain view about you i always when i interview individuals i look how they comprehend all these things which we have discussed so far into 2 minute summary and i tell you the reason why in real life consulting the cases which we solve last for about 20 to about 40 days at the end of the day we would have about 15 minutes with the ceo that's the max we would have because he is the ceo or she is the ceo now the idea is that you need to comprehend whatever you have done in these 20 to 40 days into the summary into the slides which just lasts for about 20 or 15 minutes and these are the key skills which are required i'm i'm particularly sure analytical and your creative thinking are important but at the very same time the communication skill and trying to summarize and comprehend everything is very very important as well and that is why i say summary is one of the very important part of these consulting cases in this entire module what we have covered so far is what are these consulting cases how you can use them 
to understand if you want to get into consulting the final part we discuss the structure of consulting case end to end comparing it with the real life scenario of being a consultant and how this structure relates to a real life consultant i hope by this particular module you have understood the what part of these consulting cases if you have any issues if you don't understand any part of it feel free to reach out to me and would be more than happy to answer any of your questions with this i will see you in the next part where we will try to cover the why part of these consulting cases we have understood the what part but now it is also very important for you to understand why we need these consulting cases i have covered here and there in this what part the why or the need of these but in this next section we will cover the end to it dedicatedly that why we need these consulting cases i'll see you in the next module thank you